Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. You picked a great day to stop by because my 2023 Spring Placemat Tote debuts today. Stay tuned. Y'all know on my channel, I will try to work with anything out there to give us a beautiful craft and a way to save money. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Y'all know I've made a very large tote from a placemat before. Today we're going to make a smaller version of that tote. It will only take one placemat and scraps from another placemat to be able to make my 2023 spring placemat tote. And here she is. I don't know how many of you were fans of the Crocodile Hunter, but I was a big fan. And I used to love it when he would say, crikey or isn't she a beaut? That's how I feel about this spring tote. It is a beaut. So I'm going to give you a closer look at this one in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. Crikey, it's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here is a closer look at today's super awesome spring placemat tote. It is gorgeous. So when finished, my purse is going to be seven and a half by seven and a half and two inches deep. And you can see that I have quite a bit in here. I have a little holster for my phone. I have a bottle of medication. I have my keys. And I have my wallet. So I can actually carry this. And just remember, this is a novelty purse, so it's not meant to replace any purse that you might have in your closet, your leather totes, your canvas totes. This is truly one of those fun novelty items that we can take out on occasion, and I have taken mine out. I actually took it to the store pop shelf because this is a pop shelf placemat. Well, the opinion of the people in the store, as well as some of the customers in the store, very favorable. So they were surprised that this could be made with a placemat, but here's the proof that it can be. Here's what we need to make it. So as I said in the beginning, I'm using one full placemat and I got my placemats from Pop Shelf and they were a dollar and these placemats are approximately 11 and a quarter by 17. So they're pretty large and I'm going to use one to make the smaller version of this tote. Then I cut out from another piece that I'm using as scraps. I cut out two strips that measure one by 17 and then I cut out a piece for the holster and this piece measures two by seven and a half. So you can cut this piece to any size that you want because it's going to be totally up to you if you want to place a holster. And if you do, how big do you want it to be? Do you want it to make it a full pocket? Completely up to you. But all you need is one placemat and then scraps from another to be able to make this project. So here's how easy it's going to be. So we're going to place it in on the long inch side and we're going to score at seven and a half and do a nice score then we're going to rotate it to the opposite long side and again we score at seven and a half and I'm just making sure that my score is very well defined like that then we're going to take it and turn it to the 11 and a quarter inch side and we score at two as far as we can go then we're going to take this and flip this in this direction score at two to meet that original two score mark then I'll flip it this way so that we can start scoring on the other side let's score at two as far as we can go don't you just love this lemon placemat and then we're going to flip it and from the opposite end we'll score at two until we meet that original score mark these are all the scores that we need to make 
So now we are going to fold and burnish those scores. And that's why it's very important that you get a nicely defined score. So we're just going to fold and burnish the scores. And the placemat that I'm using from Pop Shelf, it is like a polyvinyl placemat, but it is very, very flexible. There are some placemats at the Dollar Tree that I've bought, but they're a little bit stiffer than this. This is very pliable, very easy to work with. So I am going to go ahead and just peel away the label. And you can see that my placemat was a dollar. And Pop Shelf is a sister store of Dollar General. So if you don't have a Pop Shelf, but you do have a Dollar General, go in and check out the placemats that they have. Because this SKU says it's Dollar General. And the SKU, if you're looking for this specific one, is 731-4340-132. So now we need to go ahead and just fold and burnish the side pieces. And so now that we have our piece like this, we'll go to the score mark to free those tabs. And there's my tab. Then I'm just going to cut in at an angle here and cut in at an angle here. And it will look like that. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'll go up to that score mark, drag down to remove and free that tab. Same thing here, and I said remove the tab, I meant free the tab. And then we'll angle and angle. And y'all, that's pretty much it for all the cutting and the scoring that we need to do. So now we're going to take a piece of tape because we're going to use tape to just hold this in place. The tape is not how we're going to secure everything together. We're just going to take a strip, one strip here, one strip here, not a lot of tape. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, bring it up like this, and we're going to add some tape to one piece. So I'm going to decide which piece I want to be my front. And I really want that lemon showing, so this is going to be my front. Both of these flaps here will be going in the same direction. And basically all I'm going to do is match my sides like this. And I'm going to take a strip of tape because like I said, I just want this to hold the purse in place while I add my decorative pieces that will be used to hold the purse together. So we're just going to take this piece, let's make sure we have the top nice and matched. And we'll hold the side together like that. And we're only holding it together with one small strip of tape. We're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take that tape and I'm not sure if you can see how much tape I placed, but I only placed a small amount. Now I'm going to peel away the tape backer. We're going to take this side and do it just like we did the other. We're going to make sure that the top is nice and even. And then we'll bring everything down and get that temporary stick. So now our bag has a nice temporary hole to it. But the way that we're going to put this together, we are going to put it together using some of my metal snaps. We're going to use one, two, three on each side. One, two, three. So that's how we're going to put it together. So you will need a way to punch holes. You can punch holes without using what I'm about to use here, which is my Crop-A-Dub Big Bite. You can punch holes by simply taking your piercing tool and punching a hole like that. Don't know if you can see it, but we're just punching holes. So I'll do one with my piercing tool and I'll do one with my crocodile. And you'll see 
that you're getting the same effect. So I'm just making sure that my hole is big enough by going in. You can see that this is tapered, so the more I press it in, the larger the hole gets. So then at the bottom, I want to make sure that when I punch my hole, I'm punching my hole not only through the two outside pieces of the bag, but also through that tab that we have on the inside. So I'm just making sure that hole is big enough. And so now I'm just going to take my little screws. So I have a screw prong that looks like this, and then I have a snap-on head that looks like that. Look in my description box if you're looking for these. Look in my Amazon store link, which is in the description box, if you're looking for these, and look under metals, and you will see these in there. It's a pack with multiple sizes in it. So basically all we have to do is take the prong, punch it through, take the head, snap it on, and we'll just go ahead and do all of these. So you'll hear that nice little snap sound. And I'll do the one here at the bottom. Do that nice little snap sound. And so now on the inside you can see how I have these set. You can see down at the very bottom that I have it going through that tab. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to set these snap heads. Now the way that I set mine does not, does not in any way sit well with a lot of you. And that's okay. It works for me. I'm going to have the look that I want. If you have a different way of setting these or you are a professional snap setter, use your way. But the way that I'm about to do this is the way that works for me and it's the way that a lot of you have told me it works for you as well. So I'm going to take my chunky little hammer, go in, and just pound the snap into place. And what that gives me on the opposite side, you can't really see it here, but it gives me a weathered look on that snap. We'll do all of these. And so there, my snaps are nice and set. You can't even hear them. So on this side, we're going to go ahead and set our snaps. I'm not even going to bring in my Crocodile Big Bite. I'll just go ahead and do this with my paper piercing tool. And because we have that tape on, this is already in place. So I just need to go in and punch three holes. And then I'll just make sure that I am punching a hole that goes through the tab as well as the outer layers. So just be careful with your pokey tool and know where it is when you are inserting it so that you don't end up stabbing yourself. So let's go ahead and place these snaps in. Place in my snap. on that snap head and the last one we're just going to push it through the hole that we made put the head on and press it down now I'll take my chunky go on the inside just set my snaps. Now I have a well-constructed purse that is not going anywhere. So I am just going to take this and bend it back so that the bottom is flat again because when I was spreading it out it rounded the bottom just a little bit but we can bend it back into shape and that's why I said I really like these placemats because they are so pliable. So now we're going to go ahead and place down our handles and what I'm using is I am using rings like this. So I am going to take my scissors and just round my ends like this. 
on both. So I'm just rounding my ends. They will not be perfect, but hey, it'll be okay. So now we can take this, feed it through like this, and then go under like that. And it's sort of like a belt. And that might even be what it's called. I can't remember um, whether or not I have these in my Amazon store or not, but I will take a look. And if I don't, then I'll add them. So we're going to go ahead and do that on this side as well. So we're going to take it, feed it through, and then feed it over that slider bar. And I want to make sure that I have these nice and even or as even as possible. I think I can bring this one up just a little bit. And that's good. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So we'll just round that end. And then we'll round this end. Not that round, Sherry. And now I'll take these two and we will do the same thing. So we'll put it through and feed it through. So then I'll put it through and through. Then I'm going to take these two and place them side by side to try to get them nice and even. And that looks pretty even. So once I know that I have it nice and even, I'm going to take some tape and place some tape on the back like this. Again, this is helping me to set my placement. I'll do it on both. And so now I can take my handle. I'm going to peel away that tape backer and then I'm just going to place this down like that. Then I'll take the other one. We'll remove that tape backer and we'll place this one down like this and straighten that out and that's how easy it is to place these down with these rings because we're using tape to help us get set before we actually do our final stick so I'm going to go ahead and place these as well so I will use my tape and then I'm going to place this right here I'm eyeballing it from the side And that looks like pretty good placement to me. So then I'm going to take the tape from the back of this one and we're going to place it down and so now y'all we have the front and the back all ready to be set in place with snaps. We are going to use snaps to hold these because we don't want our beautiful purse coming apart. So I'm going to take my paper piercer and right above the top of that metal piece, I'm going to punch a hole and then right below it, I'm going to punch another hole because we want this buckle to stay in place. So we'll do the same thing over here. I'm just eyeballing to get my placement and then I'm going to eyeball right here to get my placement. And then for the front and the back, I will need a total of four snaps for the front, four snaps for the back, four snap heads for the front, and four snap heads for the back. So let's go ahead and put those in. You can see how when you put those in, it instantly takes that high-end purse look. So let's put that one in. And let's put this one in. The 
let's go ahead and take our snap heads and put those on. I'm placing them down on all four. Y'all, I love this lemon placemat. I'm going to have to go back and get some more. So my snap heads are on. I'm going to take my chunky hammer. This is very flexible. And I can go in. And set each one of my snaps. And now they're set and I didn't even pound my finger. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. And y'all, I'm going to get a lot of questions about what can you put in the bag? What can you, how long will it last? It is a novelty bag. And in mine, I did place everything that you saw at the beginning. And I've also placed a water bottle. So I know it will carry that. And because it is that final, I don't have to worry about it breaking down the paper of a paper purse because it is vinyl. Now you'll have to do your own test to see what you can and what you can't put in yours. But I think that this is a great novelty item if you're going out for the evening. It's a great way to custom create a nice little purse to carry out for the evening and be different. And y'all, there is my beautiful 2023 spring placemat bag. You can do so much more to the outside if you want. You can place one of those cute little feminine scarves on the outside the way that you see on the higher end purses. You can add a little fob if you want to. So many things that you're able to do to dress up your purse. I am going to do one more thing and that is I am going to create this little holster on the inside so that I can put my phone in and not have it flopping all over the place. So I'm just going to very lightly round this in my hand. Then I'm going to fold over both ends. And y'all, what I found is that my tape will hold this in place on the inside. So I am just going to add some tape. And I'm going to double that tape just to make sure we have a nice strong hold on this. And I hope you'll choose to make some of these. And if you do, no matter the placemat that you're using, leave pictures on Instagram using the hashtag Posh Paper Lady Inspired so that everyone can see your beautiful 2023 spring purse. So I am just peeling away my tape backers and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you're still with me. If you'd like to support my Patreon, I would love to have you join my Patreon because it helps me to continue to be able to do this and bring these beautiful items to you. So all I'm doing is just taking this and placing it on the inside. And so what I've done is I've placed in my holster like that and you can see that it holds my phone in place so that it's not flopping all over the place. And if I wanted to tuck my wallet in, I could as well. But it's completely up to you how you choose to do that holster. But it's a great way of keeping your phone from falling all over the place inside your bag. But if you're watching this video right now, how about taking one moment and hitting that like button? Because when you hit the like button, you're telling YouTube that you know what? They kind of like this project and we think you should share it with more people. So if you like the video or if you like what I'm doing on my channel, go ahead, take a second right now to hit that like button. Just doing that one little thing means the world to me and my channel. But here are my two beautiful 2023 spring placemat totes, seven and a half by seven and a half by two. You can carry a lot in these and they look real. And you know why? Because they are real. There is nothing phony about this. They're sturdy. They'll carry lots and lots. If you want, if you doubt the sturdiness, go ahead and add tape all over and then put these in for your decorative finishes, but also extra reinforcement. I don't think I need it, so I didn't do it that way. 
but go ahead and tweak this and turn it into however you need for it to be. So I hope that you have enjoyed this amazing, amazing tutorial. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, truly, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family, and I would be honored to have you join. As always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.